In November 2025, two major corporate venture capital bets landed in the quantum space, both involving trapped ion rivals, IonQ and Quantinuum. Quantinuum bolstered its balance sheet through a fresh equity raise backed by strategic partners, reinforcing confidence in the trajectory of its hardware. IonQ, meanwhile, turned its focus to the software layer, joining a funding round for Classic to deepen integration between its processors and quantum applications. In this video, we'll take a deeper look at these moves. I'm George Geis, and this is AI Venture Watch. All right, I'm gonna bring out corporate venture capital quantum deals in November of 2025. And what comes back, here are two companies, Quantinuum and IonQ. Let's take a quick look at the IonQ deal. We're going to focus on Quantinuum in this video. IonQ, you might remember, we covered this in a previous video, is a leading quantum computing company pioneering trapped ion technology. Now, the investment it made in Classic, Classic is a quantum software company developing tools for designing and implementing algorithms that aim to tighten the relationship between quantum processes and the application layer. And of course, IonQ wants to do that for its processors and technology. If you look at the investment, uh, you'll see that on November 13th, 2025, Classic raised 137 million approximately in a Series C uh, with a valuation pre-money of 274.7, according to PitchBook. But our focus in this video is going to be on Quantinuum. So let's take a look at this company, a little more detail. Quantinuum is a leader in integrated quantum computing, established through the merger of Honeywell Quantum Solutions and Cambridge Quantum. Now, Let's examine the relationships that it has with some corporate venture partners, starting with NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA, on November 5th, 2025, was heavily involved in the Quantinium equity funding round that secured approximately $800 million at a pre-money valuation of $10 billion. Yes, that's $10 billion. While well, Honeywell remains the majority owner, the round attracted investments from NVIDIA and also Fidelity International. NVIDIA, by way of background, is emerging as a potential trapped ion kingmaker. It's involved both with Quantinuum and IonQ in integrating with um, the CUDAQ platform. Quantinium's integration appears to be significantly deeper. Its new Helios uh, system utilizes NVIDIA's Grace Hopper superchips to handle real-time quantum error co correction. Uh, now, this hybrid CPU, GPU, QPU, quantum processing units, architecture, where a GPU is inside the control loop is effectively or could be effectively setting a standard for AI-ready fault-tolerant quantum systems. So that's NVIDIA, obviously very interested in what Quantinium is doing and a major partner in this investment. But let's look at a few other players, J.P. Morgan Chase. Now, J.P. Morgan Chase, or JPMC, invested in this same round, 800 million, pre-money 10 billion. JPMC aims to accelerate fault tolerant, high portfolio applications in the finance space like portfolio optimization, risk analysis, and fraud detection. And this partnership grants JPMC early access to this Quantinium's eight series hardware which we've mentioned just a little bit ago. That's J.P. Morgan Chase. Let's go down and now take a look at Amgen. Now, Amgen, you know, is a leading biotech company. Amgen also participated in this round, and Amgen's investment underscores a strategic pivot 
towards generative biology, merging quantum mechanics with traditional drug discovery pipelines. The classical computing is said to hit a complexity wall when simulating atomic forces uh, governing, for example, large protein ligand interactions. And Quantinium could provide the quantum hardware and software to model these systems with superior accuracy. So Amgen is very interested in the area of drug discovery and its relationship with Quantinium is important in that area. Now, Amgen also has other relationships with other quantum providers, quantum computing providers, including IBM, but it seems like the relationship with Quantinium is perhaps the, the deepest of all its relationships. And that's reflected, of course, by the investment that it's made in the company. Now, finally, let's take a little, little deeper look at Honeywell's relationship. As we mentioned, Quantinium was formed in 2021 through the merger of Honeywell Quantum Solutions and Cambridge Quantum Computing. So Honeywell has maintained a controlling interest and in continuing to invest in Quantinium to maintain that controlling interest. But I want to show you there's more to this. If, for example, I select Honeywell and say, show me its customer relationship, you'll see that Honeywell is a customer, an active paying client validating Quantinium's software. Uh, for example, Honeywell's Performance Materials and Technologies Division uses Quantinium's uh, Encanto, in, uh, Enquanto computational chemistry platform to simulate molecular interactions for developing new low global warming potential refrigerants. And there's other customer uh, applications which Honeywell is developing with Quantinium. But yet there's more. If you look at Honeywell, and this is really important, as a supplier, you'll see that what comes back is a source of Quantinium's, uh, Quantinium's moat could be its ion traps. Now, these are manufactured at Honeywell's specialized foundry in Plymouth, Minnesota. This facility has a 60-year history of producing radiation-hardened microelectronics for aerospace and NASA, for example, the Mars rover. Uh, trapped ion chips require extreme precision and durability to withstand ultra-high vacuum environments and cryogenic temperatures. Honeywell's existing IP in fabricating reliable space-grade sensors and circuits could become really important as, and are really important as uh, Continuum moves forward. All right, we've tracked key November moves by the two leading trapped ION rivals, IONQ and Continuum. Our spotlight, however, has been on Quantinium, anchored by Honeywell and expanding its corporate venture ties across drug discovery, finance, and beyond. An IPO is expected in 2026 or 2027 with valuations projected north of $10 billion if uh, Helios, uh, its platform, uh, milestones are met and NVIDIA integration advances. This would further strengthen Quantinium's balance sheet and with capital tightening a possibility for smaller quantum startups, Quantinium would have more room to acquire distressed competitors or valuable IP or both. That dynamic could set up a direct M&A clash with IonQ, which already has spent billions on acquisitions in 2025 to push its roadmap forward.